Well, I think that it has a real, you know, social relevance. And um, I also think, and, you know, it's, it looks, the, the grittiness and the reality of Earth in the future, the way Neil has seen it and the way he's decided to do it, it's, uh, it's just different than any CGI movie you'll see. I think what's nice about it, too, is it's not a, it's not a sequel. And it's not a franchise. It just came all out of his head. It's completely original. It's something new to jump onto. And I'm, I don't know about you, but I, I get really sick of the sequel thing. And like I've seen one, I'm like, Ugh, I don't need to see two or three. Well, I think they genuinely love movies. You know, I think they genuinely love movies, and their 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 first impulse is to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their first impulse is not to go, no, 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 no. You know, and uh, I think we need that kind of enthusiasm and support for the real, the real, just the brass tacks of the art of filmmaking. Yeah, I think this film has a lot of social political resonance and, uh, you know, it's what attracted me to the film in the first place. Uh, it has a grittiness and a reality to it, which is lovely to see in a CGI movie. And uh, it, um, I think it's moving, you know, it's a personal story as well. So he's, he's able to do all of those things and still shoot people and blow things up. I don't actually wield a gun in this movie, but, um, uh, you know, I play a, a, a French character who's sort of an aristocrat and uh, a minister in this new habitat and has, you know, a tremendous amount of power and is, you know, an antagonist. So that's new for me. I don't usually play the antagonist. That's, that's a lot of fun.